My eggnog cake with cake mix is easy and delicious. Eggnog is a very popular drink around Christmas time, and I thought, hmm, with all the cakes that I've been making lately, I wonder if I can make an eggnog cake. I did some research, and I think that my recipe for eggnog cake is going to turn out great because I'm representing all of the main ingredients of the traditional Christmas drink, such as eggs and nutmeg. In this bowl, as always, for a layer cake, I'm starting off with one 15.25 ounce box of white cake mix. To that, I'm going to add one small 3.4 ounce box of French vanilla pudding mix. You could definitely go with just plain vanilla, but French vanilla has more of an eggy, custard-like flavor, and since eggnog has eggs in it, I think that the French vanilla pudding is going to work well. It's really going to help to give the cake that eggnog taste. Speaking of eggs, I'm going to add four eggs. I usually add three eggs to my layer cakes, but like I said, eggnog has a lot of eggs, so I'm going to add an extra egg. And of course, you can't have eggnog cake without eggnog, so I'm going to add one cup or 240 grams of just store-bought eggnog. Here off to the side, I have half a cup or 120 grams of sour cream. I'm using fat-free, but you could use regular. And I know you're probably thinking, Parnell, I know this is your own creation, but I think you've lost your chef hat. Eggnog and sour cream don't mix together. The thing is, is that when you add something sour, like sour cream or buttermilk to a cake, it doesn't turn the cake sour, it just makes it lighter and fluffier. So that's why I'm adding it. And also, there's sugar in the cake mix, sugar in the pudding, and sugar in the eggnog. So I think something sour will help to balance out the sweetness. That's another reason why I'm adding my one tablespoon of vinegar. I usually add a tablespoon of vinegar to all of my cakes, once again, to help create that acidic environment so that the cake is fluffy. But then in addition, this time, to help to tone down the sweetness. I'm also going to add some flavoring as well. One teaspoon of rum extract. If you don't have rum extract, vanilla extract would be fine. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Nutmeg is in almost all eggnog recipes, so even if you aren't a fan, but you do like eggnog, you probably will like it in this cake because, like I said, you probably did have some nutmeg in your eggnog. If you want to go down to a quarter of a teaspoon, that should be okay as well. But like I said, I think you should add at least some nutmeg and some cinnamon. Some eggnog recipes also call for cloves, but honestly, I think this cake will be fine without the cloves. I'm also going to add four tablespoons or half a stick of melted butter. Eggnog has milk and heavy cream and we make butter out of cream. So it makes sense to use butter as the fat in this cake instead of oil. Like I said, my recipe for eggnog cake is really easy. I'm just going to dump everything together. Let's go with the butter. Butter makes everything better. The eggnog. If you don't have sour cream, then you could use half a cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, I would just use regular milk and then maybe add a teaspoon of vinegar or lemon juice. Now that all the ingredients are in my mixing bowl, I'm going to use my handheld mixer to combine. I just finished mixing together the batter for my eggnog cake. I think it's really going to turn out because 
The batter itself looks like eggnog. It has that light yellow color from the egg yolks. It has the little specks of spice. I think I'm on the right track. Now I'm going to pour my batter into my prepared cake pans and I'm going to bake my cake at 325. I will let you know for how long. My cake just came out of the oven. It was in at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. I chose to use a cream cheese frosting on my eggnog cake not only because I thought that the tanginess of the frosting would help to balance out the sweetness of the cake but also because I thought that cream cheese frosting would help to recreate the look of a glass of eggnog. With the yellowish eggnog in the glass and the white foam on the top. In order to complete the image of a glass of eggnog in cake form, I decided to sprinkle some extra spices on top of the frosting. Since a lot of times, glasses of fresh eggnog are served with a bit of extra nutmeg grated on the top. Once I put the frosting on the bottom layer, I sprinkled it with some nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon. I would say I used about an eighth of a teaspoon total of spices on the first layer slightly more nutmeg than cinnamon. Once I finished frosting the cake, I sprinkled the top with some extra nutmeg and cinnamon as well. Honestly, I was really pleased with how that turned out. Visually, I thought that the cake represented a glass of eggnog very well. And when I finally tried the cake, I realized that the flavors of the cake represented the taste of a glass of eggnog very well. Honestly, this eggnog cake with cake mix recipe was absolutely phenomenal because it was easy to make, delicious, and beautiful. And once I cut into the cake, I could clearly see the yellow cake layers with little brown specks. The half teaspoon nutmeg and the bit of cinnamon that I added to the batter. Together with the white frosting and the sprinkling of extra nutmeg and cinnamon on top, like I already said, I thought I did a really good job of visually representing a glass of eggnog in cake form. Another thing that I noticed about this cake was that I could really smell the eggnog, as well as the nutmeg and cinnamon. So I definitely captured the aroma of a glass of fresh eggnog as well as the look. And in terms of taste, this cake was really good. It was really similar to the vanilla cake with buttermilk that I made last year except that it had a faint eggnog taste, as well as a bit of spice from the nutmeg and cinnamon. And just as I had predicted, I thought that the tanginess of the cream cheese frosting did a really good job of balancing out the sweetness of the cake. Although this eggnog cake recipe was definitely good, I suggest increasing the amount of nutmeg, probably up to a full teaspoon, and increasing the cinnamon as well because even though this cake was definitely delicious, I felt like it was too similar to a plain vanilla cake. So a little bit of extra spice would not hurt. This was also my first time using rum extract, but honestly, I don't think I could really taste it. So honestly, I think vanilla extract would be fine as well. Although this cake's texture was probably a little bit thicker than the vanilla cake with buttermilk, I still thought it was light and fluffy. Besides adding a little more nutmeg, the only thing that I would do differently is that I might just bake the cake for 40 minutes instead of 45. Because even though it wasn't a huge deal, I think that the tops, bottoms, and sides of the cake layers were a bit overdone. That small detail aside, this eggnog cake with cake mix recipe was easy and delicious. If you're looking for a quick and easy last minute Christmas cake recipe, I think you should give this one a try. If you think that Santa is a bit tired of cookies and he wants something different this year, if you give him a piece of this cake, I'm sure he will leave a great present. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!